video back for a while. Got the merch, new real toddy, and then eagle eye viewers over here might notice Husqvarna. It's for another video, bit of a surprise. But today's video is about helmets and specifically moto vlogging helmets. Now this was my uh, roof helmet. You can see I've got the uh, Boyer um, adapter for a microphone and inside the microphone went all the way around and then um, it's kind of in this cheap bit here but being a flip visor the wind noise absolutely shocking <laughs> not the one but originally what I'd done to get the POV was whack on some Syrah glue here so the mount is right on the chin anyway it's time to retire this helmet it's had its time we're gonna upgrade today so what have we got then well this is the Rubrock Atlas Mercury it's um Pretty cool helmet, looks awesome. Look like a stormtrooper when you wear it. This one will probably get turned into a backup. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our brand new Atlas 2.0 into the uh, new vlogging um, helmet. So, let's uh, go through some unboxing, shall we? So, the most important part is the helmet itself. This is the Core Black 2.0 Rurock Atlas helmet. First thing I'm noticing is it's very, very light compared to the 1.0. Um, the visors are actually really, really simple to take off now. Instead of having an Allen key like the first helmet, 1.0, you had to kind of get in there and sometimes you scratch like your helmet or parts of the um, visor itself. Um, now it's just like a twist lock, so twist and pull out and then these little plastic bits you have to take off and put back on the visor you're putting on. Um, I reckon with a little bit of practice you could get changing the visors down to uh, a couple of minutes really. Um, which is good if you're kind of out there travelling around and get pulled over by the old popo and uh, they tell you that you're wearing an illegal visor. Um, you will be all like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> but what we're going to do with this um, helmet is turn it into the uh, new vlogging helmet. So there's going to be a chin mount here. We're going to have a microphone going in. Um, and if I just grab the roof quickly, we've solved, uh, if you can see, I don't know if you can actually, if it's picking it up, but we've got a stupid amount of gaffer tape that's holding the... Uh, the microphone um, adapter for the GoPro on the outside. Um, I've fixed that by watching a Chase on Two Wheels um, video. And he suggested getting a case, so I'll take you through the case and everything in, the, um, in a bit. Okay, so what we have here is a Artman case for a GoPro Hero 7. What's in the bottom here is the GoPro mic adapter USB and a uh, three mil jack lead, I think it is. Um, but that slides in the bottom of the case. And then you have to take the uh, housing off, um, which you literally just uh, pull off. Don't know if you can see it actually. Oh, that's the thingy. Focus, focus on this. So yeah, this little housing actually just pulls off. Um, you feel like you're breaking it, but you're not. And eagle eye viewers will notice that I have 
a different lens on here. And what it is is one of the uh, polarizing lenses. Um, and I'll show you what that does later. But basically, it's um, a way of blocking out light, um, mainly light coming from the speedo. So um, if I do this, just record, and I'm adjusting that, you can see the light from the uh, LCD screen comes back and disappears, comes back and disappears. So before I go on a ride, all I have to do is adjust this. So it blocks out the speedo, and then there's less editing to do. Bargain. So, what we really want is the attachment right here. Um, don't want the GoPro really getting in the way of, there's Ozzy, my dog. <laughs> don't want the GoPro getting in the way of, um, our view, um, and we definitely don't want it um, kind of in a place where it's not actually going to be secure at all. So, what we need to do, turn this off, turn out, don't need it. What we need to do, oh yeah, by the way, on the back, the little case at the back, this bit just slides off, or should just slide off slides out back and then you punk the GoPro in and then slide that back on and it's all secure. Obviously because you've got this housing open on the side um, you're gonna lose a little bit of your waterproofing. So that's what it looks like when it's all uh, and it's all attached, like microphone adapter is in. It's a lot nicer than having to stick this bit somewhere on the outside of the helmet itself. So, an all in one case, art man. Art man. Okay, so what I have here is the uh, mount, it's a curved mount, but as you'll be able to see, there's like a slight gap. You can see a little bit of daylight there. Um, and yeah, basically, that's not what we want. We want a solid foundation for this to uh, to be on. So to overcome that, I have here some moldable glue by Sugru. Sugru. Um, don't know if I'm saying that right, but you can get it on uh, Amazon. Um, and what you get is. A little packet like this and do you know what I've forgotten I need to get a uh, little something to rub it down with water because it sets um, pretty quick um, <coughs> it's uh, heat and cold resistant I mean I've had it on my other my old helmet, the roof, um, for about four or five years now, and yeah, it's brilliant. Waterproof, shock resistant, it holds two kilograms or 4.4 pounds, weatherproof, set strong, flexible, multi material, durable. Um, and it sticks to glass, ceramic, wood, metal, plastics, and more, uh, which is good. Um, so basically it sets within 24 hours um, and you have 30 minutes to fix, build and create. So here I am wearing the uh, Atlas. Really like the uh, gold visor. It looks awesome. 
and as you can see currently recording on the GoPro Hero 7 with the purple panda just going to see how the uh, volume comes out I've got the uh, visor on its pin lock now so we can uh, see how that goes um, yeah I'm excited to see what the uh, audio quality is like on this not that I'm uh, all I want really is um, <coughs> excuse me all I really want out of this is um, a good audio of the engine not necessarily my voice um, 